there, I'm Elizabeth, and today we're going to talk about greetings in English in informal and formal settings. In a professional setting, you'll need some tools to help you create a greeting that is appropriate to the situation and to the person you're speaking with. I'm going to begin with some simple greetings, and then we'll move on to some more difficult greetings. First, it's important to know what an informal and formal setting is. A formal setting is a professional setting where you might be with people that you don't know. Formal setting examples can include dinner parties or certain meetings. An informal setting is a setting where you know the person you're talking to or have no reason to try to impress them, showing them a large amount of respect. Informal settings could include day-to-day -day interactions or street dialogue. In any greeting, the first thing you'll want to do is to have an opening word or a header. These are very simple and can stand as greetings by themselves. Opening words can include, hello, hi, hi there, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, how do you do, greetings, hey, or hey there. Many of these can be used in both a formal setting, where you don't know the person you're speaking with, or in an informal setting, where you probably do know the person that you're speaking with and not as much respect needs to be shown. Generally, you'll want to pair the opening word with a follow-up, which is a statement that will get the conversation rolling. Try these for formal occasions. Hello, my name is... See the opening word in red and the follow-up statement in blue. Hi, nice to meet you. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. How are you today? Hi there, how are you? Greetings. It's a pleasure to meet you. You can use any of the blue follow-up statements with any of the red opening words. In formal situations, since you might not know the people you're speaking with as well, you can combine your greeting with a handshake or, in some cases, a brief hug. Keep in mind that the greeting should be short allowing the other person to answer your question or statement with one of their own. You can also use more than one greeting to get the conversation going. For example, a typical greeting conversation might go like this. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is... It's a pleasure to meet you. How are you today? Observe how both parties use different greeting phrases, mixing and matching to make a conversation. You can move them into small talk after the greeting if needed. For more informal situations, you can use a similar greeting and follow-up statement with some minor differences. Keep in mind that in these situations, you probably already know the person you're speaking with. Hi, nice to see you again. Hello, how are you? Hey, what's up? Hey there, what's going on? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. What are you doing today? Note the similarities between the formal and informal greetings. Likewise, you can use strings of greetings to make a conversation. Like this. Hi, nice to see you again. Hey there, what's going on? From there, you can move on to small talk. Greetings are a simple yet effective way to get to know a person. 
They are effective in both an informal and formal setting. Be sure to use a greeting next time you're meeting with someone. Thank you for watching and good luck!